Welcome back, everybody. Let's win ourselves a calling match. I am a little bit hesitant on trying to win with blunt type objects because it makes me a tank, but I hardly deal any damage. So I have to hit them 10 times before they die. And by then, they have healed or they're running away or something. And it's just a, a giant pain in the ass. I'm going to look at what other options I have. All right, so I'm sticking with bludgeons for now, and I have um, surprise me airdrop on, so I can possibly get some other type of airdrop besides slugger. So maybe if I get a badass axe or something in my airdrop, then in future games I can invest in the axes, I guess. This guy needs a belt. His pants are like right in the middle of his ass. What the hell is he doing? He can't be sagging when you're fighting in a battle royale. Alright, so my battle plan now is to say fuck the backpack. Pick up a rock real quick because I need something to fight. But fuck the backpack. And um, I'm going to go and try and get a blunt type object from whatever building is closest. I don't think I've ever been in this building before. What is this hole in the ground? Let's see if we can find ourselves a second building. Alright, I know where I am. I'm gonna try pulling one of those. This trick was pulled on me earlier. Where somebody destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So now if someone sees me, they can't get to me. Your enemy received a major beatdown. So much that it killed him. You people are savages! I have iron crystal. That's nice. Someone's been through here. Where are they fighting? Why is it going down? Jesus, what is all these explosions and shit? Your enemy just killed somebody with an axe. Oh, you can raise the bridge. Oh, they're down there. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Which one's healthier? Oh shit! Damn! This guy's giving me the run for my money. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, good game, though. Good game. That's insane. I don't know what just happened, but I feel like the guy who was dying suicided and tried to kill all three of us because he knew that he was he was gonna die <laughs> well, same plan try and loot a building as fast as possible and then get to a second building and loot that one also I feel like every single building on the map has someone spot here except maybe the tunnel I need to find another one I need to find all the buildings that don't have people spawn right next to them Not bad, not bad. See, this is why I say fuck the backpack. And a freebie. Please give me a baseball bat. Crowbar, I'll take it. 
Hammer. Nothing. So I can heal from the inside of this building. I just can't turn shit in from the inside. Yeah, crowbar is better than hammer in every way. I'd rather have a really powerful weapon and stay alive than have a med kit and then die. Hoo hoo hoo, yes. Pipe wrench, hell yes. I'm gonna save up for an airdrop instead of a blue box. Oh, there's a person. I'm gonna fight him. Yeah, I killed the fuck out of that guy. You are a killer. Med kit? Killer. I'll take it. I could probably open this up and still call in my airdrop. Alright, run my neck. Yes. And it's an SMG. Oh shit. Oh, and you know what I can do? I can get more bullets at this barrel over here. <clears throat> this is way better spent than my airdrop. I'm very curious to see what my airdrop is, but I mean, holy shit. I now can reload twice. I would say in general, the outside of the map has lots of funk to go around. Another contestant. Look at that, funk everywhere. Silence is cool and all, as far as the perk goes, but there can be some way more valuable things that take its place. I'm just gonna <laughs> harvest all these bones all day until I can get my airdrop and get some crazy uh, chems in it, hopefully. Spoiler alert. We oh, just hopefully added it to close the center of Oh, it dropped right where it needed to. Backpack and a crowbar. And a snare. Really? <laughs> I don't need any of these things. I'm gonna use this shit. So, my top shit is <laughs> my bloody, bloody pipe wrench and my SMG, which is actually a Tech 9. How many people are left? One, two, three, four besides me. And oh, is that a freebie? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh shit. Oh. Fuck. I hurt myself a lot. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, you want a tango? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Also, he was ranged just now. Why did he suck so badly? Go fuck yourself. Oh no, I didn't activate it. Oh shit, what are punji sticks? I've never seen this before. I need to find some health. Does it conserve ammo? I don't know. Stop shooting at me, god damn. Who the hell was shooting at me just now? I need to get closer. Oh, 
Oh shit, what just happened? How did he do that to me? How did he do that to me? How did he do that to me? How oh, what? Dude, come on! I really fucked myself up there. I gave him a fucking gun. I gave him a gun. Unbelievable. The thing about the SMG is that it does not let you burst fire, or just tap the trigger when you pull it. It's a three round burst, and it's super inaccurate. Alright, thanks for watching. That was me screwing up a perfectly good chance, but at least now I know exactly, exactly how to fight and exactly what I need to be going for. Things I learned in this gameplay is hit twice, shove, hit twice, shove. Stick to that pattern no matter what's going on on your side no matter how many times you've been hit. And one thing that allows me to not pay attention to my own health is having um, armorer, leather hide, um, and giving them weakness after hitting them at least one time, because then I'm taking very little damage. Especially if I have some kind of chem effect on. Chem effect on. Anyway, so that was a good game. Stay cool.